Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him, and asked, Good Rabbi, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not defraud, honor your father and mother. The man replied to him, Rabbi, all of these I have observed since my youth. Jesus looked at him, loved him, and said to him, you are lacking in one thing. Go and sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. <clears throat> then come, follow me. At that statement, his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, how hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus said again to them and replied, children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for human beings, it is impossible. But for, not for God. All things are possible for God. Peter began to say to him, We have given up everything and followed you. And Jesus said, Amen. I say to you, there is no one who has given up house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the sake of the gospel who will not receive a hundred times more now in this present age. Houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands and per with persecutions <laughs> and eternal life in the age to come. My brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ. Sorry, but uh, I'm, uh, I prefer not to go to that place. You feel sad. 
how can you mock if Jesus Christ fell? But he was trying to do everything, and then at the end, this man, he was not a good ending. This man kneeled in front of Jesus Christ. In the gospel, you will find three people who kneel in front of Jesus. And the three, they are looking for liberation. One, he was he had a demon inside. So he would like to be cured. And the other one, he got leper in his face. He was to be cured. And uh, this one is who like to find eternal life. The first two, they was liberated, so they got something good. But this one, it was not a good ending. The story, he has no good ending. In life, we have to make sacrifices. We have to sacrifice many things in, in, in uh, the idea to get heaven, to go to heaven, or to get something that we love. Now, for example, maybe in your life, you have to leave, or maybe your wife to leave something behind to get you, so you are, she is your heaven. And yeah, sometimes maybe you help. <laughs> but, but heaven is when you feel happy, when you have everything. We all, when we come to church, we all of us, we are looking at eternal life. All that you're looking in any church that you attend is eternal life. We are looking, this, this is a walk, we are walking. And we say, we are born, we grow, and then we die. But it's a journey. One day, we are gonna be, we're going to be with, with, with God. But what are you sacrificing for Jesus, for God? I still remember when I was in the Roman Catholic Church, I had to sacrifice the church. I love the church. I grew up in the church since I was two years old. And then I got married. So after I got married, I felt that I didn't belong to a church anymore. I didn't, I didn't feel like I was allowed to receive communion, to read the gospel, to preach about Jesus. It was hard for me to say I am a priest. When I was looking for a job, what kind of job do you have? Well, I'm a priest. It's not good. So after one year thinking, what do I have to do? I said, I have to find, find God again. This is not my place. I have to sacrifice this place, the church, and I have to find a place where I can feel the presence of God in Jesus so I can follow Jesus Christ. I knocked many doors. I went to look at this church, Lutheran church, evangelical church. I know they have Jesus there too, but I come here and I feel, I feel very happy and I feel very, very happy to enjoy my faith and I feel here that I'm willing to receive communion. I'm willing to, to read the gospel. I'm willing to preach the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. I'm feeling that I can be with my brothers and sisters the same like everybody else. I don't feel less, I feel the same. Of course, I have to sacrifice. I still remember my brothers and priests, they say, well, but maybe heaven is not gonna be for you. Well, that is what you believe. Now, my mind is changing, and I have to change, and I have to do something for me, for God. There is a story in uh, when uh, uh, I put my when I became a bishop. Bishops, we need to have a cold, cold arms. Uh, I don't know if that is correct to say. Yes. Cold yes. arms. Yeah. And then you have many symbols. I put one of the symbol in that cold of arms. If you see it, it that symbol is an eagle, mm -hmm. that bird eagle. And if, I, if you ask me why do I put that eagle, I don't know if you if you know the story of the life of the eagles. The eagle is the only bird who lives many, many years. Approximately about 70 years. Yeah, many years. But there is a moment in the life of the eagle that when the eagle becomes about 40 years, his wings are very heavy. Very, very heavy. And then, what is the name of this? <laughs> to eat is really hard because that one is really pure. So it's very difficult to, to, for eat. And then his nails, is very difficult to trap animals so he can eat them. So he has to make a decision. First, or die, or do something with all his things. So usually what they do, they go to the top of the mountain, very high, and then 
with a rock, he hit his what's name? And it destroyed completely. It destroyed. But it destroyed. You have no idea how painful. You can imagine how painful is that. And he has to, has to wait and become the new one. When the new one comes, he has to remove each one of the nails. Each one. It's very painful too. Each one. But he has to wait. And then after it becomes the new nails, he has to remove each one of the wings. Heavy wings, all wings, little by little. This process takes about 150 days. Yes, it's very interesting. And after that, that becomes the new wings. He can fly again, he can eat, he can trap, and he can live for 30 more years. It is very interesting. That's why we have to do the same. Sometimes we have to make sacrifices in life. You became to the church, and I imagine each one of you, one moment in your life, you have to make a decision. Where can I go? Where can I feel that Jesus is with me? And then you find St. Matthew. Probably at the beginning, you doubt, do I have to go? Do I have to be in my church? And you make a decision, and now you can imagine that you are here, and now you can feel that Jesus is also here and is for you. Hopefully, you don't feel only that it's only to say, I love Jesus Christ, I love my Lord, my God, is my, my Jesus Christ, my Savior. That's good, but it's only one thing. We have to follow Jesus. And to follow Jesus is we have to sacrifice many things, but also to share with Jesus all the things that we receive. To be in love with somebody Ned, you are in love with your wife. You, how do you show her that you love her? With many little details. We, you, you eat together. You probably play together. You watch movies together. To follow Jesus Christ, the same. And I really admire this community. This community is great. At the beginning, probably you came and you listened to the voice of Bishop Peter. But later, you understood that is not only Bishop Peter. Jesus Peter is only one disciple of whom? Of Jesus Christ. And now you are disciples of Jesus Christ. So we feel that this is our family. And this is our family, we can feel confident that we are walking and walking and walking. So one day we can get eternal life. Don't be afraid to lose eternal life. We are walking and loving the Lord Jesus Christ. I learned one, le one sentence. If you have faith, you trust. If you trust, you have love. If you have love, you have peace. And if you have peace, you have God with you. Keep that. Try to have faith. Try to trust. Try to love. And then you have peace. And Jesus is going to be with you. Let us enjoy to be together. <clears throat> Let us enjoy to be brothers and sisters. Let us understand it. God is with us. I know the will is of God. He knows if I will be if, we, if I will be in eternal life. And I know I'm trying to follow him and to do what he wants me to do. I hope today you trust completely 100 percent in Jesus Christ. I hope you can have that faith in Jesus Christ and forever. Faith in Jesus. And love Jesus Christ with all your heart. And finally, have that peace that only Jesus Christ can give us and we can enjoy this life and then in the future eternal life. Amen? Amen. Amen. Please stand. Let us continue with our service. Yeah.